There's a character in Yu-Gi-Oh who's incredibly dangerous and is often forgotten about, labelled more as a nuisance than a threat. Weevil Underwood, a sleazy, underhanded character, Weevil is an insect duelist who in my opinion is the true villain of Yu-Gi-Oh. Now the reason Weevil is such a menace is because he flies under the radar of technically bigger villains. Now what I mean by that is, the protagonists of the anime seem to ignore Weevil and his mischief in order to go for bigger fish. This leaves Weevil with almost like an invisibility cloak in order to carry out his evil plans. In season 1 we see Weevil's iconic Exodia moment, where he throws you his Exodia from a moving boat. Now this was a crucial moment because in one failed swoop, Weevil managed to get rid of Yugi's most powerful cards. The same cards he used to defeat Seto Kaiba in their first ever duel. Now the reason this was so important in Weevil's rise as the most dangerous villain was because unlike every other villain, this was something that was never undone, permanent damage, as Yugi never reclaims those cards. And we see this several times with Weevil. He displays an ability to damage the protagonist of the show in a way no other villain is capable of. Let's do a little comparison. This is Yugi vs Panic, an eliminator who makes a living off making people suffer, physically and mentally. Are you finished? Or are you going to continue to hide behind your bluster and battlements like a big coward? <laughs> and then we compare it to Weevil. Now say goodbye! The psychological trauma Atem experienced whilst dueling Weevil was on a different level. <laughs> yep, he definitely needed therapy after that. On a more smaller scale, in Battle City, Weevil managed to infiltrate a parasite card into Joey's deck, which almost cost Joey the game. And this has continuous ramifications, which almost cost Joey the duel against Mako as well. And for those of you who are thinking, so what? Weevil could never become a threat which could really affect the storyline. Well, I disagree. In the Orikalkos saga, Weevil is tested by the Orikalkos and passes the test and gives Weevil the power to obtain living souls. And if that's not bad enough, Weevil also in the final season manages to steal all the Millennium items, something even Pegasus was unable to do. And the final cherry on top, during the Grand Championship, Weevil manages to sneak into an international world tournament even though he wasn't invited. Now this may not seem as impressive in the long scheme of things, but when you compare it to Siegfried who also snuck into the tournament, Siegfried did so by using his brilliant hacking skills as well as the technology he accumulated with his million dollar technology. And and still got caught by Seto. Weevil on the other hand has none of that and would have flown through the tournament undetected if he didn't trip on those stairs. Now you tell me, is Weevil an Omega level threat? <laughs> 